center. It's one global village. Why then do you live back in the days? Don't be left behind. Join the new normal of digital world. Let radio and television be at your fingertips. Get news and current events, entertainment, sports, kiddies programs, and more at your beck and call on Aliamoye TV and radio. Just visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on all social media platforms. Then you are a global citizen. Aliamoye TV and radio. Voice of the voiceless. It is essential to be up to date on happenings around you and to make that easy for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Fresh Light, where we bring fresh newspaper headlines to limelight. Mondays to Saturdays, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. on Aliamoye TV and Radio. Watch, like, subscribe, and make sure your notification is activated on our YouTube channel. You can also like and comment on our pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Aliamoye TV and Radio. A beautiful Thursday morning, the 26th in the month of October 2023. Of course, the last Thursday in October 2023. Welcome to Fresh Light, uh, a fresh episode for the day on Aliamuye TV and Radio. Let's quickly go through some of the stories and headlines we have in our dailies this morning to keep ourselves abreast of what is happening around us and even outside the country, Nigeria. My name is Mudukbe. Akinyo Suye, good morning once again. And I'm sure that your week has been going fantastically well because that is want, uh, what that is exactly what we want for you and uh, everyone right on Aliyamoye TV and Radio. All right, without further ado, let's kickstart the review. We, I have a couple of newspapers, as always, this morning. I have the Punch newspaper, I have the Vanga newspaper, I have the Disney newspaper, and I have the Nation newspaper this morning. All right, we'll kick start with the Punch newspaper. I'll start from the front page of the Punch newspaper. Let's see the headlines that we have on the front page of the Punch. Diesel, jet fuel rises, uh, rising prices, threatening industries and airlines. This comes with double riders. The details right uh, in the Punch newspaper on page two in the Punch newspaper. Away from that, also from the front page, Supreme Court decides Tenobo Atiku will be Paul Battle today. That on page 28 in the Punch newspaper. President to present 2024 budget November, says Senate. Page 28 also captures that very story. 5.5 trillion naira payroll. Federal government stops workers' salaries not on IPPIS. You have the details on page 22 in the Punch newspaper. And also from the front page of the Punch, Shaun of Ugbomosho to appeal removal, says Palace Source. Uh, page 8 captures that very report. Mobad hid for six months over fear of attack. Parents review that on the, the Metro page, page 4 and 5 in the Punch newspaper. And also, National Assembly to probe lawyers, others behind uh, $11 billion P&ID scandal. You have that on page 25 in the Punch newspaper. And also, an headline from the front page. Federal government delegates visit flooded Ogun communities, promises Suko. We have that on page 17 in the Punch newspaper. And of course, you get to see the picture of the delegate, uh, the federal government delegates who visit flooded communities. Uh, quite unfortunate in the, con uh, the, the state. Away from the front page, let's quickly uh, peruse the pages of the Punch newspaper this morning to uh, get some of the stories we have right in the Punch newspaper. All right, we start with this very story from the business page. Diesel and jet fuel rising prices threaten industries and airlines. With double riders that says diesel and aviation fuel sell for 1,000 error, factories shot in Kano, Ogun, Anambra, and others. Telecoms operators use 40 million liters of diesel monthly, man wants against hike. There is growing apprehension in the manufacturing and aviation sectors that a rising cost of diesel and aviation fuel will lead to the total collapse of more industries and airlines operating in the country. In Kano, Ogun, Edo, Delta, Kogi, Lagos, and Kwara State, the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria told the Punch on Wednesday that many factories were closing down because of the rising cost of diesel. The national body of the association, association warned that more factories 
would be short if the diesel price increased to 1,500 Naira from the current 1,000 Naira. You get uh, that uh, details to that very story from the Punch newspaper, diesel and jet fuel rising prices threatening industries and airlines. Away from that, also from the business page of the Punch, Naira appreciates against dollar for first time in three weeks. Naira on Wednesday, that was yesterday, appreciated against the U.S. dollar on the unofficial parallel market, commonly referred to as the black market. In afternoon trading, the exchange rate was 1,300 Naira per dollar, representing a 0.76% increase. Uh, that's 10 Naira compared to 1,310 Naira rate recorded on Tuesday on the black market. The persistent foreign exchange pressure ex uh, exacerbated by the Naira reaching as low as 1,310 Naira per dollar showed signs of improvement on Wednesday as demand slightly eased. Naira appreciate against dollar for first time in three weeks. The punch captures that very story. Away from that, uh, also from the punch, Supreme Court to deliver judgment on Atiku's appeal. The Supreme Court will deliver judgment first on the appeal by the presidential candidates of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar. Apart from challenging the verdict of the tribunal, Atiku also sought the leave of the court to submit fresh document. And uh, the presiding justice of the panel, John Okoro, is reading uh, the lead judgment on Atiku's appeal. You get more details of this at the cost of the judgment because uh, definitely it is going on right at the Supreme Court. The headlines, Supreme Court to deliver judgment on Atiku's appeal, the punch, as the very story. And, uh, okay, we have the story going to a neighboring state, the state of excellence, center of excellence, rather. Sonwalu vows to make healthcare affordable and accessible. The Lagos State Governor, Babajide Sonwalu, on Wednesday reiterated his administration's commitment to health sector, saying that his government will continue to ensure that quality healthcare service is accessible and affordable to residents of a state. Sonwalu made the statement on Wednesday when he received the Minister of State for Health and Social Welfare, Dr. Tsunji Alausa, who paid him a courtesy visit at the Lagos House Marina. Sonwalu vows to make healthcare affordable and accessible. The punch captures that very story as well. And moving to the Metro Plus page of the punch, Mobad hid for six months over fear of attack, says Parent. The parent of the late singer Eliru Luwa Loba, popularly known as Mobad, on Wednesday told the coroner's uh, inquest that is looking into the cause uh, of death of their son that he stopped going to shows for six months because of fear of the constant beating, harassment and bullying he got from his former label owner, Aziz Fashola also uh, better known as Naramali and his ally Samilari. Uh, they also claimed he told them that he was being attacked because he said he didn't want Naramali's brother, uh, Tunde Fashola, to be his manager anymore. The father of the late singer, Joseph Aloba, said, and I quote, Mubad was scared of going out for six months. He said he did not know if the substance he drank at the end of the year appear at the airport. From the Punch newspaper, Mubad eat for six months over fear of attack, says parent from the punch. And uh, taking a quick trip outside Nigeria to the United States, 22 killed in main shooting, says official. At least 22 people were killed and many, many more were injured in shootings in the city of Lewiston, Maine, on Wednesday evening, local officials reported. The police says that the gunman was still at large. City Councilor Robert Malkati said the death toll had risen to 22 in the shooting spree that took place at a uh, bowling alley and also at, 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 at least one other location, a local restaurant and bar, according to media. Uh, they get the rest of that very report, right in the Punch newspaper. 22 killed in main shooting, says official. Uh, moving away from the Punch newspaper, let's see what we have in the this day newspaper. Let's start from the front page of the this day newspaper. To get to see the stories we have from the front page of the this day tinobu atiku obi face judgment today with a rider we are confident judiciary won't fail nigerians pdp and labor party declare and you get the details on page nine in the this day newspaper dss 
confirms the release of ex CFCC chair Abdul Rashid Bawa after 134 days in detention. Uh, page 34 has that very story. Tinubu will present 2024 appropriation bill to National Assembly in November. Senate reviews that very report and the details with double riders on page 9 as well in the Disney newspaper. Obaseke says Nigeria will be, will be in deeper trouble if we don't cut waste. Page 6 captures that very story. Away from that, House to investigate 7 trillion Naira in interventions in power sector since privatization. Page 9 also captures that with double riders uh, in the this day. Uh, court dismisses Exxon Mobil's suit against NMDPRA. Page 6 captures that very story. And also you get to see uh, Armed Forces Re Remembrance Day emblem launched. You see the picture right there. The National Chairman, Nigerian Legion, Major General uh, Major General Jibril writes uh, on the front page of the Disney newspaper. All right, let's quickly go through the Disney newspaper. Let's start with this very story from the Disney newspaper. House to investigate 7 trillion Naira interventions in power sector since privatization with double riders. Governor's ale signing of Electricity Act 2023 into law. We will integrate renewable energy into power architecture, says ECN boss. The House of Representatives yesterday resolved to investigate all the financial interventions which amounted to over 7 trillion naira in the power sector since its privatization to ascertain whether the funds were judicially utilized. The resolution came as chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, NJF and Governor of Kwara State, Abdurrahman Abdurazak, commended the signing of the Electricity Act 2023 into law. Abdul Razak, who also confirmed that the federal government had invested over 7 trillion naira in electricity, described the new law as a significant milestone towards stable and efficient electricity supply in Nigeria. Hours to investigate 7 trillion naira interventions in power sector since privatization. The Disney captures that story. And uh, also, we have a report right here from the Disney that says, DSS releases Bauer after four months in custody. Former chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdul Rashid Bauer, has been released from detention. The Department of State Service has disclosed Bauer, who was uh, suspended from office over alleged weighty allegations of abuse of office, spent over four months in EFCC custody. DSS spokesman Peter Afunaya in a statement said Bauer was released on Wednesday. DSS confirms release of former EFCC chairman Abdul Rashid Bauer a few hours ago. Uh, yesterday, the statement uh, said that was uh, 25th of October 2023. DSS releases Bauer after four months in custody. Away from that very report, also from the DC, Tinubu will present 2024 appropriation bill to the National Assembly in November. Senate reviews. This comes with. Uh, uh, multiple riders, lawmakers to engage finance and budget ministers on Wednesday, say deliberations on MTF FSP to commence next week. Scarcity persists as Naira drops marginally on parallel forex market to 1,315 Naira per dollar, appreciates to 801 Naira per dollar on I and E. And the last rider says, arbitrate gap now 514 Naira per dollar. The Senate revealed yesterday that President Bola Tinubu would present the 2024 appropriation bill to the National Assembly in November for con consideration and passage before the end of the year. The chairman, Senate Committee on Appropriation, Senator Solomon Adeola, disclosed this in Abuja during an interview with journalists after the inaugural meeting of his committee. Adeola, who is Senator for Ogun West Senatorial District, said the National Assembly expected the federal government to present the medium-term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy next week for scrutiny. And he also entered that the committee and invited the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Mr. Wali Edu, and his counterpart in the Ministry of Budget, Atiku Bagudu, for a meeting next Wednesday. Tinubu will present 2024 appropriation bill to National Assembly in November. Senate reviews from the DC newspaper. And uh, before we move on to more headlines and stories, let's quickly dash into our commercial room to pay some bills. We'll be back 
on Fresh Line to Onaliyama Yet TV and Radio. Stay with us. Thousands have been disappointed severely in their bid to see greener pasture abroad. To those quack in the traveling agency business, it is a rocket science. That is not our case at Tausaf Travels and Talk. We have in-depth details on how to successfully, without stress, help you process and secure your visa to anywhere in the world. Do you want permanent residential visa, visiting and tourism visa, student visa to places like Europe, America, Asia, Africa? It's no big deal to us at Tausaf Travels and Talk. Our years of experience and expertise speaks volumes for us let's process and secure visa for you to uk usa and canada within a twinkle of an eye we offer Aj and umrah services to our muslim faithfuls what are you waiting for consult us at number nine south south central mosque shalanka street behind laroy hotel abiola way abel Kuta. 0802-733-0900 or 0806-578 4060. Stop wasting money. Pay for peace of mind. Talk to Taos of Travels and Bugwala fe tu bayi to fe wo show yi. Shoge tu pagba mu. Nung ko jalosi. House of Ziana. House of Ziana. The name I know when we talk of top-notch fashion, quality materials and class. House of Ziana. Let him arrojo lo wo talk you yes. Egypt and Malaysia clothing. Dubai. I want designer bags. No rishi rishi. I want it tele bata. So you not want for what? Regina she. I want go kajo. So ka wakati your jaw. Designer sunglasses and perfumes. But you want go boom kan. So be real sick of him. But fair look ba. Ha. Mudebe. Ojo me she kami kami kami. E mini ora. E mini o mu. Go go enye musulu mi a lesson. Se go ge bang pa. Fashion, say one in Lujala Bia, Ijab, at your buyer, Lurishi Rishi, House of Ziana, Lautiri Bubuera, House of Ziana, one name, fifty two, along with Shogo Road, Aja Saint Redeem Church, Agape Parish, along with Shogua Belkuta, Lori Instagram, House of Ziana, zero eight one six five six eight eight six one eight, House of Ziana, Elate Ajata, Tin Tojulo Washo, Atin Kwa Shara Lugetin Benini. so much for staying with us still fresh light on aliamuye tv and radio still perusing the pages of our newspapers this morning picking up the vanguard newspaper let's see uh what we have right on the front page of the vanguard newspaper on presidential tosso seven supreme court justices who will decide to nabu atiku obese fate today these with double riders page five captures that uh, detail Senate to amend CBN Act bars governor from partisan politics. You have that on page 19 in the Vanguard newspaper. Tinubu appoints INEC Rex. The INEC Rex, uh, page 6, captures that story. On brain drain, federal government to increase the enrollment of doctors, nurses next year. Page 8 has that story. Domestic capital markets, not foreign borrowing, can fix infrastructure gap in Nigeria. VP Shatima. Revealing that on page 19 in the Vanguard newspaper. And also from the Vanguard, God sent robbers to shoot me. Okay, uh, you get that uh, very story from page 15. A shocking uh, report right on page 15 in the Vanguard newspaper. Nigeria sets African record for most NBA players in a single season. Uh, you have that sports story on page 31 in the the Vanguard newspaper on IPPIS federal government to stop salaries of unverified workers tomorrow page 9 captures the details of that story and of course you get to see at the commissioning of the MCS Center uh, the managing director Nigerian Port Authority NPA Mohamed Belo Koko Minister of uh, Marine and Blue e Blue Economy Alhaji Adeboyega Oyetola and Mrs. Uh, Oyetunde Akinluyi uh, board member mission to uh, the see seafarers during the commissioning of the mission of the seafarers center yesterday in lagos quickly going through the vanguard newspaper uh let's pick this very story from the vanguard newspaper we'll start with uh, this very report from the court all right supreme court a uh, very story from the supreme court and this uh, story says supreme court okays live broadcast of verdict on article and opis obese appeals in an unprecedented move the supreme court on thursday gave permission uh, for its judgment in the legal dispute trading the presidential election that was held in the country on february 25 to be televised 
The Apex Court gave clearance for live coverage of the proceeding barely 15 minutes before the time, 9 a.m., that was scheduled for the justice in Yangokoro led seven man panel to commence the delivery of the judgment. Meanwhile, there is heavy security presence within the Supreme Court, which is located within the three arm zone in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja. From the Vanga newspaper, Supreme Court okays a live broadcast of verdict on Atsiku and Obi's appeals. Away from that, we also have a very story right here from the Vanga newspaper. Court sacks RCCG pastor as shown of Ogbomosho with a rider, others fresh selection process. And Oyo State High Court sitting in Ogbomosho yesterday obtained the appointment of the new show of Ogbomosho, uh, Oba Gandhi Olaoye, and other the fresh selection process to the stool. Recall that the Oyo State government announced Pastor Olaoye as the new show of uh, and made him king on September 8, 2023. After the demise of Obajimo Oyewumi, Agumbiade the third, who died in December 2021 at the 95 at 95 after a 48-year reign. Not satisfied with the process, one of the contestants, Kabir Laoye, dragged Olaoye to court, saying he was not eligible to be the next show. Court sacks RCCG pastor as shown of Ubumosho. Away from that, uh, we also have this very report right here. From the Vanga newspaper, prioritize core members' security and welfare, NYC urges employers. The National Youth Service Corps, NYC, has urged employers to ensure safety and improve the welfare of the core members for higher productivity. The NYC Director General, Brigadier General Hamed Yushua, uh, gave the charge at the inauguration of the 2023 Core Employers Workshop on Thursday in Sokoto. The theme of the workshop is evolving strategies for promoting an, a healthy work and life balance for core members, the role of employers. Prioritize core members' security and welfare. NYC urges employers. Away from that, uh, we also have the story away from Nigeria. Israel again bombs hundreds of targets in Gaza Street. The Israeli Air Force has again bombed numerous targets in the Gaza Strip in the fight against the Palestinian Islamist Hamas movement. As the Israeli military announced on Telegram on Thursday that its fighters' jets attacked more than 250 terror targets over the previous day. This included command centers, tunnel shaft, and rocket launching pads in the middle of residential areas, which had been used to fire on Israeli territory since the beginning of the latest outbreak of hostilities from the vanga newspaper israel again bombs hundreds of targets in gaza streets and uh, also um we have this uh, very story from the vanga newspaper on registration a sports page nnl postponed 2003-2024 league kickoff date the board of the Nigerian National League, NNL, has postponed the kickoff date of a 2023-2024 league season to a yet-to-be-announced date. Chairman of the NNL board, George Aluo, said the postponement was necessitated by an inability of teams to complete their re registration process. The news agency of Nigeria reports that the league was originally scheduled to kick off on October 28. Aluo said the board, in arriving at the decision, took into cognizance the inability of teams to meet the October 25 registration deadline because of the economic situation in the country. On registration, NNL postponed 2003-2024 league kickoff date. Away from the Vanga, let's see what we have um, right in the Nation newspaper. Uh, let's start from the front page of uh, the Nation newspaper. All right, from the front page of The Nation, we have uh, stories. Shatima Farm centers in 774 councils to take off soon. With a rider, Vice President, whose investors with Nigeria's 70 million hectares of arable land. Away from that, okay, the details you get to see right uh, on page 5 in The Nation newspaper. Federal government to delist unverified workers from payroll. Uh, page 5 captures that very story. 10 nominees for Senate screening as uh, resident 
electoral commissioners. Uh, you get that with a rider. New chiefs for Lagos and others. Page 6 captures that very story. Oyebanji Ukeyima appointed CEOs of maritime agencies. Page 7 as the story. Court removes Shawu of Obumosho about Laoye. Page 27 as the, the very report. Infrastructure funding. Capital market cash replaces foreign loans. You have that on page 4 in the nation newspaper. Uh, President O'Kay's 18 billion naira assurance policy for fallen heroes and families. Uh, you have that on page 28 in the nation newspaper. And also, an headline says Bauer released, uh, page 4, as the details of that story. Not going back on October 31 exit date for ambassadors, the Ryder government embargoes account. You have that on page 4 as well in the nation newspaper. And also, a report here says CBN amendments bill scales second reading in senate page seven as the reports uh of that very story and uh, quickly going through the nation newspaper we have this report still from the supreme court supreme court determines articles motion to supply csu materials justice john okoro who wrote the lead judgment in the appeal by article Abubakar and the pdp is currently reading the judgment Justice Okoro has chosen to first determine the merits of the motion by Atiko and the PDP to supply fresh evidence in the form of documents obtained from the Chicago State University on President Bola Tinubu's academic records. From the nation, Supreme Court determines Atiko's motion to supply CSU materials. Away from that, uh, we uh, let's uh, take this very story away from. Uh, okay, Ethiopian Airlines breaks silence on Nigeria Air. The group CEO of Ethiopian Airlines, Mr. Um, Mesfin Sasil, has said that the East African carrier never had any plan to set up an airline in Nigeria, but was invited by the federal government to establish a national carrier, Nigerian Air. Uh, Tissot, who spoke to journalists from Nigeria and Addis Ababa, disclosed that because of the pedigree of Ethiopian airline, Airlines, it was invited by the federal government to help it set up a national carrier in a partnership arrangement. He said Ethiopian Airlines first resisted the invitation, but later agreed due to long relationship with Nigeria. From the nation, Ethiopian Airlines breaks silence on Nigeria Air. The details of that very report right in the nation newspaper and let's quickly uh, move to the sports page of the nation on 2023 afcon rufai recommends stiff competition competition for uzuhu and others foremost nigeria international goalkeeper peter rufai has weighed into the ongoing goal goalkeeping crisis uh before the super Eagles. he claimed that only stiff competition can bring out the best in the embattled first choice francis uzuhu ahead of next year's African Cup of Nations in Cote d'Ivoire and the forthcoming 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. From the nation to on 2023 Afghan, Rafai recommends Steve competition for Uzoho and others. And also from the sports page of the nation on Paris 2024, Super Falcons hold Ethiopia's Lucy in Addis Ababa. Nigeria and Ethiopia senior girls put, put up a hard fought battle in Addis Ababa yesterday with the game ending 1-1 to set up an interesting return leg in Abuja on Tuesday next week. And Captain Rashida Tajibadi's uh, scorching shot from the edge of the box six minutes after the restart restored uh, parity at the Bikela Stadium after the Ethiopian girls had surprisingly taken the lead in the six minutes of play as uh, Breki Amari made hay from a corner kick. Paris 2024, Super Falcons old Ethiopia's Lucy in Addis Ababa. And uh, quickly moving away, taking this last story, sports story from uh, the Nation newspaper this morning. 2026 FIFA WCQ, Super Eagles to host Lesotho, November 17. The match date for the Super Eagles 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers against Lesotho and Zimbabwe is now out. The date for the opening two fixtures was revealed on the Super Eagles X handle. Ose Pesero's side Super Eagles will welcome Lesotho to Uyo on November 17. The three-time African champions will then travel to Rwanda to clash with Zimbabwe three days later. And South Africa, Rwanda and Bene Republic are the other teams in the group. From the nation, 2026 FIFA WCQ, Super Eagles to host Lesotho 
November 17. And from that very story, uh, we call it today this morning on Fresh Light on Ali Amoye TV and radio. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platform on Facebook at Ali Amoye TV and radio, on our X platform at uh, Iyamoye underscore TV and on Instagram at Ali Amoye TV. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Ali Amoye TV and radio and turn on your alarm button to get notification of our programs. And definitely we can also advertise your product or your service right on Ali Amoye TV and radio. Thank you so much for joining. Armin Mudukwe, Akin Good morning. Thank <music> you.